Oh! There's an ocean out there! Oh, this is so neat! And there's fish! This, I, I don't know what to say, you guys. I'm speechless. <laughs> I really had no idea that was gonna happen. Um, thank you, too, by the way, for those of you who heard me say that and held your tongue and let me discover that without any spoilers because it just made my day. I got to tell you, it really did. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am a bearded OG. We just rolled over to Amphibians. I was trying to uh, show that happen on camera, but uh, it got a, a little bit ahead of me, which is fine. And uh, yeah, so we are at uh, the final functional stage of our terraformation. My understanding is that we can achieve mammals maybe i'm not i mean i'm not even seeing that number move at all but that there aren't any mammals until 1.0 comes out um so i think you know i i would have expected that to at least moved up by one hundredth of a percent by now and so maybe maybe we're done with terraformation um Let's come back and take a look-see at it in just a minute and see if we actually see some movement on it. Um, as far as blueprints goes, so this does seem to suggest that we could hit... Okay, yeah, so if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you can still see, or, or even in our screen here, we're still moving up in terms of the terraformation index itself but it looks like it looks like we can't achieve mammals though cuz i would have i would have thought for sure that that would have gone up at least a hundredth of a percent by now but i don't know we'll check it again later but as far as blueprints go we have this frog holy egg holy egg yet to do and then um, there's still, you know, the, the T5 drill and some more fish things in the aquarium thing uh, in the biomass tree that we're, you know, a little bit, I guess, a little bit behind in. But, um, yeah, so let's see here. I, uh, here, let's get, let's unpin that and that. No, unpin. I guess I can't unpin the rocket. I've been working on uh, trying to do an insects rocket. Um, but this is currently... Oh, it's done. Okay. So this is the next level of fish egg that we can do. I put an aquarium down here. Look at those guys. They look kind of like clownfish. Nice. Okay, um, I also, let's see, what else have I done? I have done quite a few things, actually. Yeah, I think we're done. I, I don't think we can move to mammals until one of drops. I put another aquarium over here uh, with, some, with some fish in it. Uh, the purple fish is like the next level up after the green fish. Uh, oh, shit. I put a um, the butterfly up there. Um, that's all I've done up here. Now, I have set up a a fusion cells production here but I'm just waiting for we're, we're completely loaded up on pulsar quartz by the way as you can see there both that chest and my everyday pulsar quartz chest is completely full um, and I have set the drones up to fill up my two osmium chests and I think when they're finished with that then they're gonna start putting osmium in here and when that happens uh, the fusion cells will begin to to craft now the reason I'm doing the fusion cells is two twofold first of all uh, they are the most valuable things I can a thing I can make right now to sell 
Uh, so they're worth 80 tarot tokens a piece. Plus, I think, I don't know this for sure because I've, I've purposefully not, you know, tried to read up on it. But I think what we do is we take these and we put them into those fusion reactors inside the ships for some purpose. I don't know if that purpose gives us more power on the planet, if it lights the ship up. I'm not sure. But we're going to we're going to take the first little batch of fusion cells and try that. And then the other thing that I want to do before we wrap up this this series is um, I want to make a portal generator and at least try try one procedural wreck. But look what it wants. It wants energy multiplier fuses. Um, we have to buy those and they're damned expensive and for whatever reason when the rock is gone it doesn't let me see um, you'd, you'd, you'd think it would still let us at least see what you know what the menu is but it doesn't um, so we're so I'm currently sitting at 4860 I think those fuses don't remember I think they're at over 3,000 credits maybe even more like 5,000. So what we'll do with the fusion cells is we'll we'll go plop one in a ship and see what it does, just so I know. Uh, and then the rest we're going to sell until we can purchase two of the um, energy multiplier fuses to make the portal generator and go check that out. So I'm still waiting for a little bit here before all that happens. So I will bring you guys back uh, when we are ready to try out the fusion cells and we'll go from there. Look at what we have here. Generic frog eggs. We have frogs, you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm over here setting down another um, osmium drill. I came out to take a drink. And there's frogs in this little pond. That is just awesome. Wow. Yeah, I, I decided to set up another uh, tier three Oz drill here just to kind of boost things up a little bit more. This was all left over from the the shack shed that was here. Um, so I, uh, I think this will actually disappear when I log out. So I'm not going to worry about it. I just don't need it. <laughs> I don't need any of that stuff. Um, hardly at all anymore, you know? Uh, so I just wanted to show you that, yeah, there's frogs in the world. I didn't even do anything either. It just happened. Uh, in fact, for that matter, we have fish swimming in the, the lakes now too. Um, and I haven't, you know, set up a fish farm or anything like that. So, you know, some of the stuff just apparently happens automatically. And, um, you know, just like with the trees. I, I mean, I've planted some trees with a tree spreader, but the majority of the trees on the planet just kind of came into being by themselves, uh, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, but, yeah, and the butterflies, too. Yep, yeah, they're all just flying around, including the golden ones, which is awesome. But if we go in here, you can see that we have fish swimming around. Isn't that cool? Just amazing. I love it. Look at you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. So, yeah, mostly just wanted to show you the frogs. Um, are there any frogs in the lake? This is so cool, man. Maybe the frogs only show up at the little ponds. Maybe that's what their actual purpose is. I don't know. Anyway, very cool. All right, I'll be back in just a bit. Well, that's the first one of those I've seen in a while. Uh, a very long while, in fact. Um, I haven't received a... Um, a, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, a Superstorm in a long time, either. Yeah, the game took its sweet time sending these along. Not that we need them now. I mean, we'll take them, for sure, but... Kind of took manners into our own hands. Cool. Alright, so, let's see here. We are going to... Uh, let's just throw these into here. So, look how many fusion cells, um... <laughs> we've made so far. It's awesome. Um, so I'm going to take... Uh, let's see. Let's. I, I want to take one of these with me to try out in the ship that's over by the lake. 
And then I think we're going to... Uh, can we do a supply and a demand in the same crate? Probably not. Let's see. Because that'll probably... Yeah, I think they cancel each other out. Okay. So we'll keep this one on supply. And we need to... We need to create a separate thingy for the rocket um so why don't we do i have another circuit board i do i have one left okay let's make another uh, ch uh storage thingy tier two we need a couple supers so i guess what we'll have to do in this particular case is We'll set this here. And this is going to be fusion cells in. And this will be fusion cells out. Wait a minute, though. How does that work? If we'd have to set this in order to get these to go into here, this also has to be in. You know what I need to do, actually? I, I need to set this to be the output to the rocket. I think. Right? Yeah. I think that's what actually needs to happen. If you want to automate it all the way to the rocket anyways. If you just want to automate it to a chest like we did here, then that's all you got to do. All right. Well, in that case, this isn't really doing us any good. Um, let's just blank it out for now. Um, okay. So then let's set you... To yeah, you're supplying. Okay, you're already set correctly. We just need to set the rocket. Because I, I canceled the cloth. Oh, shit. I canceled the cloth and the, the food. So what we need to do is we need to set you as a demand for fusion cells. Like that. And what will happen then is the drones will take them directly out of here and put them into the ship. But they'll also try and put them in here unless I turn this one off for now. So let's let's manually um, let's manually send a load up just so we can get the money so we can get the things that we need to do the portal okay that ought to make us some bank man oh shoot <laughs> okay we already have 5,000 tokens as it is and what I'm gonna do is put these back in there so that way when the rocket comes back the drones will start to load the rocket back up with these because these are supplies and that will also allow these a little bit of time to refill. You know what I think I need to also do though, is I need to go back to, I need to go back to our uh, Pulsar production facility. And I need to turn this back on because I turned this off to direct the Osmium to us. So you need to be set back to demand. Whoops. There we go. So that'll start. Oh, uh, also, uh, I did make the tier two gas extractors, and you can explicitly tell it just to get one thing. So um, that actually happened a while ago. Uh, but that has been done too. Okay, 
Let's go back here. We need to eat. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this fusion cell over to that ship. But before we do that, we're going to do a couple other things. I'm going to grab all of this stuff. And um, we're going to set up a our first amphibian pond. Um, where's a good place to do that? Let's set it down up right down here. Because why not? All right, and I have, um, I've got these generic frog eggs that we've just found out in the wild. Look at that. That's cool. But we can also make the, the other frogs that we got when we finally maxed out our terraformation index. Uh, these guys, the Huli eggs. So, and, and as you can see, we've completely completed all blueprints for oxygen, heat, and pressure. Uh, but there are still, you know, biomass things yet to go. Uh, we did unlock the T5 drill, but I honestly don't... I don't know why we would use this. We don't, we don't have any reason to. It doesn't do anything for biomass. We've already achieved everything we can achieve here. Now, if we were trying for... Oh, that does... Look at that. Holy crap. Getting to mammals must be, like, take years. <laughs> we did get one hundredth of a percent of the way there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, that's why we would do the T5 drill then, uh, for sure. Um, but I'm not... It, it is not my intention to get to mammals in in this series because as my understanding is we can't do anything with it we can get it to mammals but it doesn't do anything for us um so we're not we're not going to try achieve that that's not the goal for season one here oh yeah the other thing i wanted to do is i wanted to why did i just do that i did not want to do that i want to launch a couple of insect rockets oh boy let's uh where did that damn thing go stairs Okay, put that back where it was. And so I've got the stuff to do that. And that'll give us insect boost. I should have actually... Well, I this actually just unlocked not too long ago. So in my defense, I haven't really neglected it. We just haven't had the option to do it. <laughs> Look at that. We had to use bee larvae to make these. Okay, here we go. I'm just kind of curious to see what it, it, what it'll do. Like, will we get a swarm of bees or something? Let's just see what happens. Hmm. Not really noticing anything. Usually when you send one of these rockets up, there's a very noticeable change for a little while, you know? What if the rain is messing with it a little bit? Okay, well, here, let's let, let, let's let the rain finish and then we'll try that one last time. If we want to make this really high-end frog egg, the Huli eggs, we need to make a tier 4 mutagen, which also unlocked just a little while ago. So that's going to require a normal mute, a mutagen, and a a, uh, a tier three mutagen. Okay, I don't want to burn that one though because that's for our next insect rocket. So let's put all of this stuff in here for the moment. Okay, so we need to make. A normal mutagen first. So bacteria, methane, and sulfur. Whoops. Uh, let's see. We need three of these and three of these. Okay. 
grab a methane from out here. Whoops. What am I doing? Cut it out. Okay, so that gives us our normal mutagen, and then we need to make a tier three. So that's another bacteria, a nitrogen, and a sulfur. Now let's make the tier four. Very good. And then let's see, we also need generic frog eggs. I have an extra thingy of those there. And that's all we need, okay. There it goes. All right, now we have some other effect coming. Looks like just a normal storm. All right, we'll wait for that to wear off. I just want to see if there's any effect at all with the insect rockets. Um, and I don't want anything else happening at that at the moment, just to make sure, right? Um, we could also put some more fish eggs in there if we had them. Let's top our food off. Let's go down and see if the plankton thingy madoodle has uh, collected some fish eggs. Sometimes it'll do that. No, it's all plankton. Alright. Well, we'll pull that out then so it can try again. Been keeping the plankton in here. And we're out of room so we'll put the rest in an overflow. Hydration's low. Okay, so what are we doing? We're waiting for this high-end frog to finish. Uh, we got it, the Huli eggs. And we need to make another amphibian pond, because apparently we can only put one type of frog in. So we need a furt, a common larva, and a water. It's going to take a couple of eggplant, three algae, and I grabbed the sulfur already. And we'll pull a common larva out of here. Okay. 2,000 tokens we got from that shipment. Okay, is... uh. If we want those to go directly into the rocket, we probably need to disable... Oh, we already did disable that. Okay. Whoop. Okay, let's go back down to our... our frog area. Let's do this one right here. And we'll put those eggs. Oh, look at those colorful things. Too bad they didn't make a croaking sound. That'd be cool. That's neat, though. Very neat. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Let's get the other insect rocket launched while the weather's clear. Uh, nope. Don't do that. Do this. There's an ocean out there. Oh my God. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> Several episodes ago, if you guys remember, 
uh, those of you who've been watching along, of course, I said it's too bad the game doesn't take all the the beyond the border area and turn it into an ocean. It does. I had no idea that would happen. That is so cool. Oh my god. All right, are we going to get an, any kind of effect from the insects rocket? I think they should have like a little swarm of bees or something, you know, friendly bees. Uh, you know, a little effect like that, but apparently they don't. Oh man, we got to go check this out. Oh, uh, we got food and water, right? Yeah. Uh, by the way, as you can see, I planted a hell of a lot more trees back here. Um, these little mushroom trees, I don't particularly care for the way they look, but they're the highest level, you know, plant, uh, plant producing tree. Oh, this is so cool. I had no idea they'd do oceans. Oh, I love it. This game just does not fail to disappoint. I mean, wait, no, I said that wrong. <laughs> it does not disappoint. Oh, this is so neat. And there's fish. This, I, I don't know what to say, you guys. I'm speechless. I have, this, um, this game has just far exceeded my expectations. I love that. Now it really makes, makes us feel like we terraform this planet when there's an ocean. You know? Probably what'll happen is when we get to the border it'll turn red on us again but we gotta try right let's save the game just in case <laughs> oh this is neat Miju games bravo bravo that's all I got to say yeah it's starting to turn red on us okay we're in no man's land now oh that is just just amazing yeah, I, I didn't know this was going to happen. I know I keep saying that, but I really didn't. And I was thinking, man, it'd be cool if eventually this turned to ocean, and it sure enough does. Okay. Wow. Just wow, man. Just wow. Oh! How, has that been there all along? There is... How in the hell did I miss this? That's some nice stuff. Has that been there all along? I don't know. I mean, I have been back here flying around, you know, picking up meteorites, uh, you know, a dozens of times. <laughs> You'd think I would have seen that. Or maybe it's new. Maybe it shows up when the oceans appear. I don't know. And the fish? Oh. Hmm. What a game. What a game. No wonder this thing has an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam. I mean, seriously. Wow. Just love it. Absolutely love it, you guys. Absolutely love it. Okay. So, anyway, let's, um, let's go over to the wreck by the starter zone. The one that's up on the hill, not the one that's really close. I want to put this fusion cell inside of... I still haven't taken all that shit down. <laughs> uh... I want to put this fusion cell inside that fusion reactor and just see what happens. My guess is... That's some nice stuff. My guess is that it's either going to power the ship up itself so we have light to look around, or it'll power up the ship and open up some of the doors we haven't been able to get through. That just occurred to me, by the way. Um... Or it'll be just another power source uh, for us to use. I'm just going to put the golden in there for now. So, yeah, I don't know. But we're going to find out. We are going to find out. We should probably um, set up a shelf and put up some of these decorations, too. So many things to do. So little time. I love it when the butterflies come into the house. It's just awesome. Uh, okay. We got an extra Oz rod, which is nice. Let's throw that in here before the drones fill this chest up. We got the zeolite completely filled up, which is good. So we'll just throw that in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Okay. Oh, man, I'm just so stoked about the ocean. 
<laughs> I really had no idea that was going to happen. Um, thank you, too, by the way, for those of you who heard me say that and held your tongue and let me discover that without any spoilers because it just made my day. I got to tell you, it really did. So I appreciate you guys not saying anything about that. Oh, man. Okay, cool. So let's go to here and we'll go to lakeside and let's go see what happens so yeah one of three things is going to happen i'm guessing it's going to it's going to power up the ship so so it has lights it's going to power up the ship so that the doors open up that we weren't able to open to give us access to more stuff or it's going to be an actual power source for us to use you know what I was going to look and see where our power is currently at to test the third, my third guess. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so we're currently at uh, 344 kilowatts, 344.02. I should be able to remember that. Man, I'm just, again, I'm a, just ecstatic, you guys, that the ocean is here. I really am. I'm genuinely pleased that that happened and this game that I already adore all rose even higher in my estimation you guys have got to play this game if you've never played this game I mean it's just so worth doing uh, okay we want to go back here back here back here and back here okay let's see what happens Something happened. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, so, okay. It looks like we have, like, auxiliary lighting in the ship now. Did anything change here? Probably not. No, that's the same message it's always had. Okay, so it's this. it looks like, to me, it's the second thing. It looks like it opened up doors that were previously closed to us. Yep, that's exactly what it did. Oh, neat. So there's all kinds of more stuff in here. See, now now that I know that... Good gravy, what's this? Oh! Huh? We need one of those. Right? Don't we need one of those for the portal thing? Yes! Oh, that's amazing. Money. Oh, that is amazing. And circuit boards. Thank you. I need circuit boards like crazy. Look at this stuff, you guys. Oh, wow. And here I thought we were done with looting these ships. Open big safe. Okay, so does every ship have like a big safe on it then with something really really kick ass inside i bet you that's what's going on here um oh look at that that's good stuff this is like christmas man and i i think i've mentioned this to you guys and, and feel free to tell me your opinion those of you who are experienced with this game it seems to me like it would be wise to Look at this. It'd be wise to kind of hold off on looting the ships. I mean, you, you kind of have to loot some of them early on, right? To get the seeds and all that. But you're almost better off to wait until late game because then you get better stuff. Look at that. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay. That is so neat. <laughs> Not as neat as the ocean, but still pretty damn neat, I got to say pretty damn neat and here i i took down my my storage bins too wow 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 okay well um damn what a game you guys what a game i think we're gonna wrap up season one because season two also known as 1.0 will hope if everything stays on schedule 
will be released the day after you guys watch this last video. Um, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, in other words, they, you know, they're not delayed for some reason, and hopefully they won't be. There is, I, I feel like that we did, oops, I feel like we did a good job considering the fact that we really, really rushed this towards the end, you know, just kind of blitzed through it. I think we did a good job of experiencing what the game has to offer, but we kind of just scratched the surface in a lot of ways though too, you know, I'm just going to put shit anywhere because we're done. <laughs> uh... There's, well, actually, no, there's two more things I want to do before I let you go. Um, let's put all of that stuff in there except for our food and water. Oh, no, wait a minute. What am I talking about? We wanted to try the portal out. That's right. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. I don't know how long that's going to take. My guess is it's probably going to take us a little while. Um, can we... Oh, here comes the Superstorm. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Can we buy? I mean, chances are we'll probably find another energy multiplier fuse. Quiet, please. Goodness gracious. That is loud. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, uh, I'm going to buy the other one because I'm not actually planning on... I'm just going to send it and go get it. I'm not actually planning on doing anything further with this playthrough. But when Season 2 comes around, then we're going to do a full-blown, maxed-out playthrough and, and take advantage of everything this game has to offer and not rush it at the end. Um, and it's probably going to take a hell of a lot more than 30 episodes to do all that, too, but that's okay because we won't be in a hurry, you know, this time. So, yeah, I don't, let's see, how long are we into this? Yeah, I think we better do one more episode, you guys. I think we, we're going to have to do one more episode. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to wait uh, for our energy fuse to get back. We'll start the next episode by making this thing. And we'll go try it out and see what it's like. And then the very final thing we're going to do is we're going to just take a quick tour of the planet and, and one last look at at it, you know, and, and see how it all ended up. With oceans and all, man. So with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this second to the last episode of Planet Crafter. We'll see you in the last one where we'll check out this uh, portal, the procedural wrecks, and take one last tour of the planet. See you tomorrow. Bye.